Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Forager. I'm Nye. Now we, it was going really slowly for a little while, and then all of a sudden, ooh, pot, okay, that, I need that. Um, you. Oh, I need more glass. Um, we were going, like, extraordinarily slowly for a while, and then all of a sudden things started kicking off. Uh, we have suddenly reached a point where, like, we are now able to expand you know, do things, uh, which is fantastic, but we just, we, we kind of need, kind of need inventory space right now. So that's what I'm kind of hoping for right now, is that we're going to build up and kind of get some inventory space going. I can build royal clothing. You know what? Let's build that to see what happens. I'm assuming this is a pure cosmetic thing. That's the, uh, the guess that I'm prepared to make. That being said, I am willing to try it out. Uh, but yeah, we just, we just saw the ability to get the beetles that we, uh, need to, uh, those things down there. Uh, we need those specifically in order to, uh, get some more upgrades for ourselves. And then we have this, like, mini dungeon to go explore. Uh, I would really like to get some you know, higher level of, um, that's eh, another beetle. I like to get some higher level of, like, bonuses going, um, and I'd like to get some inventory space before I really go explore this dungeon. But that being said, okay, so now I need, now I need to remember what uh, what does having a beetle get me access to? My inventory is full. Yep, haven't been, we haven't seen that note in a while. Okay, so medium backpack needs leather and bottle torch bugs. We can get that pretty easily. Um, all right, okay, that's still currently crafting. You're here. Anchor, you have nuclear fuel cells, atomic bombs, spirit orbs. You have stuff. We can sell bricks for a awful lot of money. Good to know. Bunch of torch bugs out. I could really use bottles. definitely feels just a little bit bad that we are not able, excuse you, um, to get some of these things here. And oh my god, the resources just blew up all over the place. Still have no idea what to do here. looking at this at this area trying to get an idea of like what might the game want me to do and I haven't the foggiest clue royal steel or royal clothing okay let's go um let's go look in here real quick I can get, I can get a crown, fancy backpack, get my fairy wings. So I got bonuses. I have no idea what those, those, what that real clothing might actually mean though. Let's go see if we can pick it up and see if it tells me. Oh no, it just, it just exists. Okay. Um... not amazingly helpful, unfortunately. How's my inventory looking? Okay, I think we... I think we go on in. Oh, 
go back in here. Do I have to redo the puzzles? I do. Okay. So I think that tells me that I need to really complete this in one go here. See what stuff I don't need here. Anything else I can just kind of drop and not feel bad about it. Ah, I see. Okay. So that gives me access back here. Oh. Okay, hold up. So that's interesting. So I can... Okay. Better chest with stuff. Better chest with stuff. Okay, we definitely need to need to make room here. Discard egg. Okay, that's a... Uh, okay, so that's not a... Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we need another thing to be able to advance in that direction. Oh, dear. Dungeon failed. Hmm. Okay. Well, I gathered two things out of... Oh. Oh, I didn't realize I had no health. Okay. So that experience taught me two things. The first thing... I need more inventory space. And one of the ideal ways for me to get inventory space is for us to build more vaults. I think that's how we're gonna start. while I'm working on it. I also want to know, like, is there a way for me to get more... more health? You know? Like... Okay. Let's, um, buy some land. Well, that seems not ideal. Okay, so less than ideal. Um, the fact that this exists and could spontaneously have an enemy that could spawn and eat my face. Puzzle, I, I couldn't tell you what the puzzle actually means. Uh, let's toss the roll 
building in there. That can be glass, red, um, ruby, leather, meat. This can be my steel, brick, iron ingots, topaz, cinder bloom, cactus fruit. Okay. That should help with inventory issues. This doesn't help me, though. Unfortunately. What did that get me access to? Where where do we go from? Melting. Um manufacturing. Masonry. Subscription tables. Where do I go? Locks and banks. Market prices reduced. Boots and gloves. I think I want to see what these factories are. Like, boots and gloves. Definitely a, a thing that I want to explore. Okay, so how much did that just screw me? Factory. Glass, royal steel. Used to create some of the most powerful items industry can offer. Okay, so... <laughs> but requires stuff that I don't have access to. For the most part. Okay. I'm getting a little bit too big for my britches. I need to explore more to the right. Get to some of those uh, items in that direction. I really want to know what this is. And then this, what that actually means. Like, there's... There's some stuff to be explored there. So do I have to do this dungeon all in in one go? Is, is that what I'm gathering here? Is that... Bow is not all that good, but it does give me some range attack that I can do here. And I can shoot from out of their range, so I have access here. So what we're really needing right now is just a way to... Oh, can't have that. So, this doesn't seem to actually do anything. So we can take this block and go elsewhere. Might as well go up here. Oh, hello, friend. Okay. So, if I can... Really, the problem here is that we we need an extra brick. That's that's what I'm saying is we need extra bricks here. Now, like this wall is, you know, looks damaged. Oh, hello. These are actually damageable. Damageable, but doesn't get me much for damaging them, unfortunately. Now, when that hits that, it does cause that to... to do a thing, so I can... I can take advantage of that. 
Now the question is, can this go... Okay, that doesn't interact. Okay. Can this go through the wall? I mean, can this go through the door, I guess, is the... Yes, yes it can. Okay. Not 100% sure if this is how you're supposed to do this. Stuff. Like, this feels, uh, kinda... Not how you're supposed to do this. Couldn't tell you exactly what gives me that impression. But I just get the impression that like I'm I'm doing this stuff in a way that's not supposed to be done. Like that you're not supposed to bring those bricks to the wall. I guess part of it's just because they they vanish through the wall. Hello. That gives me Thunder Rod. Use it to zap enemies into power structures. Oh, hello. Okay. guess is that you were yeah okay you were supposed to get this early and this allows you to time item like is it only for this dungeon because this seems really powerful for an item that would be a limited time or for a permanent item I need the other one. Or kind of an easier way, like... See, it looks like these things are on a grid, but they're not. Like, they're, they're able to be pushed around and adjusted. Kinda drives me a little bit nuts, I'm not gonna lie. So, is this thing seriously unlimited use? Like, this is super duper powerful. Also, where's... Okay, um, I'd like to interact with this. Thank you. I just have this this rod that is unlimited use that's super powerful. Assuming this goes up here. Yep. Boss fight. Okay, it's unlimited use. It has charges. But it might as well be unlimited use. I mean, its charge lasts for freaking ever, and it doesn't take long to charge at all. I'm definitely curious if I get to use this in the remainder of the game. I mean, 
I'm assuming that being able to... Holy crap. Okay. It's spawning a lot of friends. Oh my god. Hello. Apparently I am... Oh god, I have no control of the game anymore. I have, no, I have no control of the game anymore. Yep. That sucks. So I accidentally like... You can probably see it happening as I, as I fix it. So I accidentally touched the top of the screen up here. I have no control of the game. Cool. Um. Yeah. So I'm I'm not touching anything, and I'm automatically going up. So touching things while touching the top of the screen uh, kind of saved the up input that I was holding. And now I'm going eternally up. So I think we're going to go ahead and unfortunately take a break. Uh, let's see. Can I? If I go back in. No, it's permanent while the game is open. Apparently. Uh, okay, can I... If I close the game... And reopen it. Like, we could have easily beaten that just by standing out the door and just shooting in. Um, which... Definitely surprises me a little bit that... Uh, this game has that as a... As, as kind of like an exploit here. The question is, is that door now open? This is probably a bad idea. Nope, that door is not open, and now I'm stuck in here. This seems kind of unintentional by the devs, or dev singular, I guess. That this is a thing you can do. I really wish I could not actually touch that. Is it actually taking damage from that now? If my cursor's not on it, it doesn't take damage, is what it seems like. Or maybe it just doesn't take damage from this at all. Like, no, it, it took damage. I know it took damage. Hmm, I don't get it. I really dislike that, uh, A, my progress wasn't saved. So I, I really don't like that my progress wasn't saved. It's kind of a first thing. The other thing I really dislike about this is that, um... I, so I have to smack this with the, uh the pickaxe to move it at, like, a reasonable pace. And, um... Doing so, you know, depletes my stamina. So this is just a great way to just lose stamina over and over and over. I'm just gonna kind of move in here. I'm just gonna sit here and just shoot at it for a while. Because it doesn't seem to be any downside to doing this. Its health is going down. So this seems to be kind of like a little bit of an exploit. I don't know. I'm gonna do it because I already died to this guy once. I'm running out of supplies. Uh, but this definitely does not seem to be kind of the game as intended. Beat music, though. Oh, ow. Yeah, but I definitely don't want any of that. also get the Tomb Raider for the Ancient Tomb. Ancient Seal, awarded only to those who beat the Ancient Tomb. It also gives me a Spirit Orb. Use it to increase your stats. Oh, so that's what a Spirit Orb does. 
Okay, so now we know this is complete, and now we have this thing. Holy crap, that's powerful. Okay. Can it accidentally hurt my, my allies? No. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so how does the spirit orb work? Use it to increase your stats. Increase health, stamina, damage, or instantly level up. I think we uh, we increase our health. I think that's where we go here. And then we talk to this dude. Cosmic Steel, Great Skull. I think we definitely buy the Great Skull. Because um, we've wanted that for a while. Um, we can get rid of some coal. And we're going to buy some obsidian. For the off chance that I can use it in the near future. But now we have this thing. And this thing's going to just make... Oh my god, look how much faster we can get rid of stuff. Now, it doesn't seem to get rid of... Um, It doesn't damage our buildings. Good. Ooh. And charging this got me a thing. Okay. Get all of these rewards just for just for doing that. Um can I buy land? We're gonna have to go look, see if we can buy some land anywhere. But yeah, at the, if nothing else, being able to use this to very rapidly, like, hurt enemies, break things, get rewards. This is excellent. Not 100% sure if this is, you know, working as intended, but, um... Going to assume this is how the game was intended to be played. You know, give the player something stupidly powerful really early on. Well, that's, that's not really true. We aren't really early on. We've been playing for a couple of hours. Oh, we actually got some real steel. Something. Some source gave us royal steel. Can I buy any of this land? Oh, I can buy that land. Ooh. Okay. So my super laser of doom takes care of that pretty quick. Um, I don't want to buy land. I want to build. Uh, build farming. Oh, okay. I pissed off. I pissed off this dude. That could be a thing. Open a skull chest. Get. Okay. Okay, game. We're just gonna. I got another spirit orb. Uh, let's go ahead and permanently upgrade my damage. I'm now level 22. The... We're doing absolutely nothing. Again. Very much feeling that. Oh dear. I'm just gonna back up a little bit and shoot you. Okay. Kinda figured that'd be another spirit orb. Okay, definitely not feeling intentional here. Um let's get an energy increase. Some of this feels like I may have broken the game slightly. That just super does not feel like it intentionally gave me an item this stupidly powerful. Okay, let's go see what skills we have access to, and then we'll go ahead and call it for the day. Um, like, I really should be going for, like, the wheat and the beets and everything like that, but... Hmm. I think 
we want to unlock boots and gloves. That gives me jewelry, unlocks amulets, and gems sell for more coins. Okay. So that seems like that might just be a just extra space I have access to now. I need some steel. Uh, I also need to look into building a market, which I can now build. Uh, we'll go ahead and build that right there, I suppose. Okay, what does the market actually do for me? Excuse me. All this stuff is in the way. What does that actually do for me? Okay, so I can buy a Builder Scroll, a Bottled Butterfly, and cheese, and it restocks every 10 minutes. Okay. So, what if I choose... Sell some jelly, because I got mountains of it. it feels like I kind of feel that I can safely sell. Sell some seaweed. Let's buy a Builder Scroll. I don't have the money for it yet. Okay, I'm sure I can fix that. What is... This. Drink it to become zapped, damaging enemies and harvesting resources. Okay. I think we need more vaults. You guys get that impression? I get that impression. In goes the Great Skull, Obsidian. Hold up. That is a ruby, right? But can I send this to Vault? No. I don't know why I can't, like, send those to vaults. We need more vaults. That's what I'm gathering. More vaults are next. Oop, I think I moved something up. Something went big boom just now. Anything else? Void portal. Atomic bomb. Looks oh, Obsidian. Yeah, I would really love this builder scroll. I just don't know what to do. So now we have a market. So now I guess we kind of continuously have this ability to just kind of buy stuff. See, there's... This is right here. Like, this has... Gonna lie, I'm a little bit confused as to why, like, some of these vaults are empty, but I can't put stuff in them. Okay. I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.